today we're going to be doing a yoga practice that is all about body image and body positivity and loving our body as it is, not trying to change it or force it into a pose or to do anything that doesn't feel good within our body. Often in society and in our day-to-day -day life, we tend to be really negative and angry with our bodies and really harming to our self-worth. So I wanted to bring you a practice today that allows you to just be in your body, to think about honoring all of the things it does for you, and to just feel really grateful for the body that you have because it doesn't need to be anything else. It literally just is what it is and it's here and it's holding you and supporting who you are and your soul and your essence. So with all of that said, let's dive into today's practice. Get comfortable on your mat. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please be sure to subscribe down below, like this video, and of course, send me any love down below in the comments. Follow me over on social media and uh, we'll dive into the practice. So allow yourself to just sit comfortably. You can sit on a cushion if you like. If not, that's okay. Just on your mat is perfect. We're just going to find our breath as we start our practice. So sitting comfortably, just rest the hands into the lap, on the knees, the thighs, wherever feels good. And just closing the eyes gently, noticing our breath here, seeing how the breath is moving today. not trying to change it, just letting it be. I'd like to invite you to bring your hands onto your belly. And just feeling your breath fill up into the belly. So imagine that we're sending that breath down into our belly. So as you breathe in, belly expands towards the hands. And as you exhale, belly softens. So just finding a couple rounds of this, breathing deep into that belly. And just holding our belly. Breathe one more time. Now I'd like to invite you to slide one hand up onto your heart, onto your chest and keep that bottom hand onto the belly. So as we take a breath in, breathe into the bottom hand, into the belly, expand that belly, and find the breath to come up towards the top hand, the chest. And exhale, chest comes back in, belly softens. So we're finding a rhythmic breathing here, breathing into the belly, expand into the hand, lifting into the chest, and exhale. Feeling the breath come out. Finding two more rounds of that. Breathing into the belly, chest, and exhale. Belly, chest, and exhale. And just let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Release the hands back onto the legs. And just find a nice breath in. Breathe in, fill up. And exhale. Sigh the breath out. We'll find one more of those deep breath in. And exhale. Let the breath go. From here, let's inhale, sweep the arms, reach up overhead, gaze up, open the eyes, palms together, exhale through heart. And then inhale, sweep up, bring in all that positive energy we're going to create today. And exhale that all into your heart space. Just pressing the thumb gently into the breastbone. Find that connection of the palms, feeling your heart beat. 
feeling any intention that you may want to set here just to be with yourself to be in this moment to be with our body our incredible body set that intention if you like or just keep pressing those palms together and we'll exhale release the hands bring them back at your sides and from here we'll find our way into an all four into a tabletop position so finding yourself onto all fours just warming up through our spine so just sway those hips back and forth stack those hands underneath the shoulders spreading wide through the fingers just sway your hips just move the body get a little bit of movement smile here we're in yoga we're having fun we're just moving our body so there's no pressure no expectation to be anything that we're not come back to stillness pressing into the fingers as we drop our belly release it towards the mat to lift up through the chest the gaze coming through our cow pose exhale round back through the spine press the spine away coming into our cat drop the head inhale roll back forward just finding these nice movements drop the hips lift the gaze moving from each vertebrae so really finding that movement through your whole spine so we're just allowing the spine to move to warm up maybe you've been sitting a lot maybe you've been a little less active so it's just nice to get in the body perhaps closing the eyes tuning in are you having any judgments or angst towards yourself? Can you let that go here? Just find that breath. Let it be the only thing that's important right now. And then we'll come back to a neutral table, sitting our bum back onto our feet, set the bum back, reach the hands forward, find a nice big stretch forward. So we're reaching through those fingertips. And on your exhale, walk the hands over to one side. So if you need a little bit more space here, you can always bring the knees a little bit wider, allowing a little bit more room for belly and boobs. I always call it the BBs. Just finding what works. Yoga is all about your body. It's not about mine, not about anybody else. It's just about what's going on with you. Feel that nice, beautiful stretch through the side body. Maybe walking the hands a little further, maybe crossing one hand on top of the other. And exhale, walk yourself back to center. Reach forward again, find that length through the spine. Gaze towards the mat. And let's walk to the other side, reaching through those fingers. So one side might be a little bit tighter, just depending on how tight you are through the side body, through the hips. So keeping our hips pressing back, reaching the fingers over. You can cross that one hand on top of the other. So the inside hand crosses on top, just to find a deeper stretch into the side body. And walk those hands back to center. Reach forward one more time. Let the head fall towards the mat so you can cross those forearms. Rest the forehead or you can bring the head all the way down. Just let the forehead fall. Releasing. And when you're ready, you start to rock yourself back up to a tabletop. So from here, we're going to curl under our back toes, press into the hands, press bum high towards the sky, come into our first down dog. Just walk out the legs, find some movement here, wiggle it out, letting the gaze fall between the legs. Just pedal out, feel good in that back body. Our back does so much for us in a day. <sighs> Exhale, release that out. Find a stillness for a second. 
And as we take an inhale, we're gonna rock ourselves forward, come into a plank. So you can option to stay into full plank or you can modify with the knees down. I'm just gonna stay here just for a moment to build a little bit of heat, build some strength, draw the shoulder blades down the back, gaze towards the mat, we're long through our spine. Awesome, exhale, release the knees down to the mat. We're gonna find our way into our side plank. So I'll just take you through a variation. You can keep that bottom knee down. We're gonna spin that top leg back around. So pointing the toes towards me. Bring that right hand underneath the face, left hand onto the hip here, and bring ourselves into our half plank. So this is our modifi modif modified, modified half plank. So you can stay here if this is enough for you, maybe reaching that top hand up, or if you'd like to take it further, you can come into a full side plank and bringing the hand underneath the shoulder. Hand can be on the hip, pushing those hips towards the sky, whichever variation you're in, maybe gaze comes up, maybe hand comes up. Build that heat, one more breath. And exhale, come back down into your plank. So you can stay in that full plank, keep that heat as we go right into the other side, or you can drop the knees down. Left hand comes under the face, stretch that top leg out. Open up, maybe you're staying here. Maybe you're coming into that full plank variation. So feeling that strength, that oblique muscle. Strong, push those hips towards the sky. You're so powerful, your body is doing all of this work. Breathe into it. And exhale, bring the hand back down. Stay in that full plank, hover, hold. Feel that heat. And exhale, release those knees, sit the bum back, come back into that child's pose. Whew, release that down, bring the forehead down. <sighs> Feel that nice heat, that nice strength. And when you're ready, just bring yourself back up to a seat. Grab that water if you need it. Ooh, I need a sip. All right, shake that off. Feel good in our body, right? We love ourselves. It's not about what size you are. It's not about what the mirror tells you. It's not about what anyone else tells you. It's about how you feel. This is a space to love ourselves, right? So come onto your bum. Let's bend through the knees. We're getting a little bit more into the core. So core strength is so important for our overall health, for our pelvic floor for our entire stability of our low back. So many crucial components. It's not about a six pack. It's about being strong, being powerful, right? We wanna find that power. So press into the feet, hold on to wherever it's comfortable to hold on to. So back of thighs, maybe your shins, wherever you are, it's okay. So we're gonna to start to gently tip onto our, our hips here, walking the feet just slightly back, coming into our boat pose. So you might be lifting the feet, you might not. So what I want you to think about more so that's important is that we're lifting the chest. So we're just almost like you're zipping into like a swimsuit, like a, a wetsuit. You're going like, Vroom. you want to pull that chest, beautiful chest, shine it open, open the collarbones, holding wherever you are, shoulders come down the back and we're strong into the belly. So we're not just hanging out here, collapsing, going, hey, whatever, right? We're not just hanging out in the low back. We are staying strong and lifted. So maybe that means you leave your feet on the mat. Maybe it means you tippy-toe them back. Maybe it means you hover them. Maybe it means you lift one leg. Maybe it means you lift the other leg. Maybe it means you lift both legs. Flex those feet. Find that boat. Maybe you're here. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Option to release the hands, reach them forward. So we're keeping that chest lifted, building strength through the thighs, through the legs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You're so strong. And one more breath. Smiling because we're having so much fun, right? <laughs> Exhale, release the feet down. Inhale, sweep those arms forward. Wrap them around your legs. Hug yourself. Allow the head to fall towards the knees. Give yourself a squeeze here. So honoring this body you have, loving it right in this moment does so much for you. Every millisecond of the day 
it's working to keep you alive, keep you healthy. Just breathe into that. That good feeling. And exhale, bring yourself back up. Stretch those legs out in front of you. Give them a shake. So from here, I'll just spin to face you. Now let's do a seated stretch onto the mat. So bring the legs nice and wide, flexing through the toes. And just walk those hands right in front of you, right in that space in front. And we're just gently allowing ourselves to walk the hands forward, starting to tip from the hip crease, allowing the chest and the back to come forward. So this is more of an inner thigh stretch, oftentimes a back stretch too, so we're not really going very far here. You might be very flexible through your hip flexors and you can fold right down to the mat. If you want to, cool. If not, you're here with me and I've been doing yoga for like 13 years and I can't go past this point, so it doesn't matter, we're honoring ourselves, right? <laughs> Allow yourself to just gently tip forward, find a nice stretch, feel it in the body wherever you're feeling it. And exhale, walk yourself back up tall to the spine. Let's tuck in that right foot, keeping the left leg long, toes are flexed towards you so you're strong into the leg here. Excellent. So turning our torso over that extended leg, we're just gonna walk ourselves forward. So just finding a nice little stretch here into the shoulders, the back body. So you can round through the spine here. Just releasing, getting a nice stretch through the hamstring, the back. And exhale, bring yourself back up tall. We're gonna keep our, turn our torso towards me, towards the front of your mat. And we're gonna allow ourselves to start to tip that left hand down towards the left toes. So opening up and stretching into that side body here. So option to keep your hand on the hip here, just reach down, or you could bring that top hand up overhead. It's like you're trying to reach towards those toes and grab them with that top hand. So this might be totally unattainable, which it is for many people, even me. So we're just finding that nice stretch, really focusing on that lift and reach through the side body, through the shoulder. So it's more so about getting a really beautiful stretch into the QL muscle that runs from our first rib all the way down to our hip. So breathing into that side body, letting go of tension through the face, letting go of expectation of ourselves. We are here, you're doing it, it's all that matters. One more breath. Oh, it feels so good. And exhale, bring yourself back up tall. Kick out that leg. Give a little shake if you need to. And we're going to come through the other side. Tuck in that left foot. Right leg is extended long onto the mat. So turn your body towards those toes. Allow yourself to fall over that front leg. Just getting a beautiful stretch through the back body here. Or you might feel in the hamstring. Just depends where you're tight. I just love this to release the low back. I really feel it through the low back. So you can reach towards the ankle, towards the toes. Doesn't matter where you're touching. And exhale, bring yourself back up tall. Turn your torso towards, gaze towards the front. Slide that right hand down the leg. So finding that stretch, that tip from the side body here. So option is to keep the hand here. This might be a lot for you. So it really just depends what's going on. If not, you can bring that top hand up overhead, reaching towards those toes. Looks like you're trying to grab them with that top hand. So just feeling that stretch, noticing which side is tighter. Just breathing into it. How are you feeling? Finding one last breath. Need 
let the breath be noisy if it needs to be. And exhale, come back up tall. Release that leather leg out, give the legs a shake. Beautiful. And we'll find our knees to come to a bend, soles of the feet on the mat. Let's inhale, sweep up, reach up. And exhale, dive those hands over those legs, hugging yourself in again. Just round back through that spine. Give yourself a nice big hug here. And sit back up. Let's allow ourselves to roll that spine down onto the mat. Come back down. Let's hug those knees in one last time. Big hug here. You can find some rocks, find some movement side to side. Just let the spine go. Oh, it feels so good. Lots of, lots of little back stuff today. Lots of core stuff here. Just letting it all release. And when you're ready, you can start to release the legs all the way down, coming into your final Shavasana, your resting pose. Palms can face towards the sky. And just let the feet fall open. And you can gently close the eyes here for a few moments to just soak in all of the benefit of your practice. Oftentimes, Shavasana is the most challenging pose in yoga because it is mindful stillness being here on our mat. So coming back to our intention of honoring our body and loving our body. Perhaps as you move through the rest of your day, thinking about appreciating your body for what it does, for how beautiful it is, and choosing to focus on how powerful and amazing your body is, or choosing something good that you like about your body, something beautiful about it. Breathing into whatever that might be. Just letting it fill up your heart space. Filling up your belly. That warmth, that love. And sending out that warmth to all of your limbs. And down to the feet. And through the arms, the hands. Up the neck. Into the face. Finding a gentle smile, perhaps. Feeling your whole body lighting up with warmth. As you gently start to find some movement, wiggle back into fingers and toes, holding on to that heat and that warmth you've created. And start to bend through the legs, roll over to one side. And just gently start to press yourself back up to a seated position. Taking your time to come up, or if you want to stay here longer on the mat, you can. Finding a comfortable seat, bring those hands back into your heart center. Pressing the palms together, cultivating that self-love again for yourself here. Feeling all of the energy that you created within your body, that intention that you may have set. And just remembering to practice kindness to yourself and to your body for all of the things it does. And knowing that you can come back here at any time whenever you need this reminder in this practice of taking care of you, being in your amazing body. Thank you so much for joining me here on the mat today for this practice. I wish you so much love and light in the rest of your day.
from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this class, be sure to like the video down below and subscribe to the channel. Follow me over on social media so we can connect further. And I hope to see you on the mat very soon. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.